Hello everybody and welcome to the fruit of Grisaia. We're going to do another route in the game. I teased it at the end of the bonus episode to Amane's route. We're going to do Sachi's route. This is where you start Amane's route if you kiss her. But we're not going to do that. She's ugly. No, she's not really ugly. But This is completely idiotic. If I get caught up in Amane's nonsense and let her coax me into kissing her, it's all too obvious that the reparations so exact in the aftermath will leave me in staggering debt. I know my controller worked at one point. It does not want to work anymore. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. That's what keyboards are for. As Amana waits patiently, her eyes closed and lips puckered like an actress in a lipstick commercial, I reach out and give her a full force flick the forehead. Ada! Moron, did you really think I, of all people, would fall for such a blatant trap? I was actually going to start another game in this time slot that this is going to be in, but I decided to, uh, just get the route out of the way, because who knows how long it's going to take. You're the one who said you'd be satisfied playing my big sister. You know, sisters don't pester their little brothers for a kiss on the mouth. Well, I don't know about that. <clears throat> Yuji. Uh, well, yeah, I guess there's probably a few out there, but that's a seriously rare case. No! Don't start playing some incoherent character from an incest-themed porno. You're just trying to push this through by force. It's not gonna work. You can't force this. I'm no coward. Ugh. In my line of work, what, you scared? It's a phrase you don't want to hear under any circumstances. No matter what unreasonable, reckless action you're being encouraged to take, the instant that question gets voiced, you have to spit out hell no, and instantly leap into action. If you back down in the face of a taunt like that, your reputation among the group will plummet inevitably. It, sorry, inevitably? Well, irretrievably. Also inevitably. But we can't forget about the wonderful concept of tactical withdrawal, a dignified retreat when the situation calls for it is no act of cowardice. It's just such a case. Anyway, it's late. Head back to your room already. I'm grateful to you for the meal and sewing and everything else, to the extent that I can't really express it in words. But this isn't the same as a romantic relationship. You're an adult woman. I think you can grasp the distinction yourself, right? What? うん、まあいいわ。今日のところは帰るよ。食べ終わったお皿は流しの桶の中に入れておいて、明日まとめて洗うから。I can take care of my own dishes. I'm not completely helpless. What a tyrant. Yeah. Got it. I feel bad for rejecting her knowing like her past and everything now. Oh well. Such had to be done. Yeah. Night. Ugh. That girl seems to feel some pathological need to force her and way into my life. The way Amani shows up and starts doing the housework without being asked. Only to get hopping mad over something, preach at me for a while, then vanish as quickly as she came? And inspires a definite sense of deja vu. Specifically, her fierce punish 
pushiness and burning desire to take care of others reminds me strongly of JB. I'm comparing her to JB, who's been something like family since I was a kid. I clearly don't dislike Amane. Honestly, I enjoy her company, but it's also undeniable that I have a hard time seeing her as a love interest. How can I put this? Well, <clears throat> like I said, she feels more like family. Something like my older sister was to me when she was still alive. Something like my master. Something like JB. Amani's become someone I care about in that way. And that's exactly why I can't thoughtlessly take advantage of her. I don't want to end up making her cry. Those are my honest feelings right now. Wow. <sighs> oh, it's you. As I returned to my first floor after my bath, I spot Sashi walking towards the front door. She's in full maid uniform, like always, but her hands are empty. Somehow this feeling vaguely unsatisfactory. Probably proof that I've gotten accustomed to the way things work around here. Yo, Sachi! What? Sorry, my bad. I think you've had a stroke. Are you okay? Well, this is one thing I'm not sure I'll ever get used to. Sachi's ability to do absolutely bizarre things while keeping that This is perfectly normal, why do you ask expression on her face is really something else. <laughs> So, I'm just curious, but is talking like a dyslexic with a Russian accent some sort of fad these days? Or maybe this is some sort of code? Which would leave. Oh. Just as the new theory begins to take shape in my mind, Makina pops out from between Sachi's legs. Okay, where do you come? You know what? I don't want to know. Since when were you a bloodthirsty boxer? As I look on in silent amusement, Makina pulls Sachi's skirt back and forth, noisily rustling the fabric. <laughs> Sachi's calm toleration of this action reflects her trust in Makina, or at least I really want to believe it does. Alright, so why is Sachi talking in that bizarre way? Extreme typo? Mocking a mime's point a cigarette from her lips and loudly blows out the imaginary fumes. Apparently she equates adult with smoking. I managed to resist commentating on the matter, allowing Makina's deranged explanation to roll merrily onward. What? At least say three player match or something. Well, knowing this girl, the innuendo was probably more reflexive than anything else. Also, if you're looking to recruit another player, why did you in just invite Amane? <laughs> Come to think of it, I guess it is about that time of day. And that's why you dragged Sashi into this instead? Tell me, Sachi, what do you think of the games Makina comes up with? I don't understand what you're saying. Much to my regret, I am unable to play extreme typos for religious reasons. Why do you say that? I'm not gonna give Sachi's back a vigorous thump, prompting her to take a step forward. 
かさみさんか先っぽとパツケンした時視線かピタリに泳いでいましたピトか嘘をつく時の典型的な特徴ですうん、hmm. Seems this combination is more dangerous than one might expect Okay then give me a demonstration first As soon as his energetic words leave mock in his mouth, the two of them turn to face each other, assuming a conversational posture. I'm having second thoughts of doing this route. I feel like my grasp of the English language is slowly slipping with every word. I see. Keeping track of all those rules seemed like it would be surprisingly difficult. And depending on how skillful you are at rephrasing things, you might be able to come up with sentences that don't use many of the letters at all. And there's also some sentences, like that one, where nearly every word has to be altered. Where's this coming from all of a sudden? Mm, tacos sound good. In that case, why don't you go ask Amane if she can add tacos to tonight's menu? Within seconds, Makina's slippers are squeaking furiously up the stairs to the second floor, all else forgotten in pursuit of her prize. Little puddles of drool mark the path she followed. What can I say? The girl really does resemble a hyperactive ten year old at times. <laughs> When I turn back, Sachi hasn't budged an inch. In fact, she's staring at me intently. Sachi, don't you need to start dinner yourself? <laughs> you can stop that. Maka does not hear anymore. What's more, she's still observing the rules of the game. You're glowing, what's wrong? And now that I look closely, I kind of get the feeling there's something like expectation burning in her eyes. Alright then, wanna try this extreme typos with me? Seems my gut feeling was correct in this one, Sachi responds eagerly. Since I'm a student now, wasting a little time on this sort of pointless nonsense seems vaguely inappropriate. Or sorry, vaguely appropriate, not inappropriate. But I don't want a reputation as a sort of goofy twit who enjoys this sort of game for its own sake. Alright, let's talk details first. Bring it back to normal for now. Her tone betraying a hint of regret, so she closes her eyes for a moment. Probably consciously deactivating her extreme typo mode. The thing is, the game doesn't really seem to have a set ending. Let's make it into a match. First person to slip up loses. That will be me. Uh, let's see, uh, no claiming up entirely or ignoring your opponent's request. That should be enough. Uh, um, sure, whatever. Haven't thought about that, but well, I guess that'll encourage us to take the match a little more seriously. Well, I was really trying to go for 140% increase, but whatever, that'll work. She's seriously fired up about this. Well, if I win, I. I guess I'll ask you to take care of my laundry or something, you know. Um, sure. Not really what I said. Anyway, what do you want me to do if you win, Sachi? Hmm, 
If Amani Amashiro asked me for this kind of blank check, going along with it would be far too risky. But I'm pretty confident Sachi's not going to demand anything too outrageous. I hope I don't eat my words. Alright, that's fine. And so I begin my bizarre verbal duel with Sachi. Ah, good evening. Oh my god, I have to say it. So how are tanks coink with <laughs> Pat B? <If> you... <laughs> good to hear. Considering the way Sachi kept at this game perfectly right until the moment I asked her to stop, winning this match probably won't be easy. By the way, can you name that Dama Sichuan <laughs> steamed potpourri dish with the sesame saute? Okay then, how about the parquet size anthropoid designated as a dankerous anamap under Japanese paw? I feel like an idiot. Name an unconventional po- <laughs> <laughs> Thrive Pride that uses the epistit dort odd rubber to pont a pass curve upward. I'm gonna lose this so bad, I've already lost. Hmm. I thought Tata pooped would be a pretty tricky to pronounce, maybe leading to a stumble on the easier second word, but she brushes off this combo attack as easily as the rest. Yeah, there's a dip in the air. ディシンチップスディップス。なんだか空を飛びそうな感じになっています。天竺ってどうだ Bash and burn architecture. That was a trap? The question is not ten times more didotuped to say than the answer. Next, Sachi draws near and holds out a small slip of paper toward me. Oh. I accept the scrap of paper, then unfolded to find a few lines of neat text scribbled across the interior. Taguchi Chan, who utilizes slash and burn agriculture, stuffs her cheeks with bang bang chicken and fish and chips while riding the catapult bungee. The heck is this? So that's her game, is it? You devious fiend! In this match, there's no set rule limiting the means by which you can influence your opponent's response. Sachi cannily spotted this loophole and identified it as the surest path to victory. Very well. I gently shut my eyes and draw the muscles around my solar plexus taut. Carefully perceiving the flow of energy now surging through my body, I direct the current of force into a swirling whirlpool, terminating in a single point at the core of my body. Once, twice, three times. In the next instance, I unleash up that power like a coiled spring. <clears throat> Takuti Than, who upisizes Spash and Burns agriculture, studs her teeks with bang bang thicken and dish and dips wiped. Redink the Tatapod Bungee. Hmm. And so the match ended all too quickly in my ignanimous defeat. I know, it's just a game. But losing you was honestly pretty frustrating. Well, it'd just be lame to take a match like this seriously. Especially since I was playing against a younger female classmate, maybe I let her win? I don't know. Or so I attempt to console myself without much success. Okay, first of all, can you go back to normal now? Must say though, I wasn't expecting you to be that good, class rep. <laughs> okay. 
No, it wasn't. Why are you spouting sports cliches all of a sudden? And for some reason, she's acting shy about it. Only if you're a professional athlete with muscles where your brain should be. Well, your brain is a muscle. Not that I had noticed before, but Sati's knowledge of the world is decidedly warped in many areas. Many, many areas. So, what's my punishment for losing? Sati's words trail off hesitantly halfway through her sentence. What's wrong? Have you made up your mind yet? Then spit it out already, come on. I want to know. Huh? Unable to comprehend Sachi's bizarrely simplistic request, I answer with an incredulous grunt. Before I decide, I'd really like to hear why you chose that, of all things you could have chosen. Yeah, and I'm asking why. Sati's tentative questioning tone suggests her own understanding of the matter is still incomplete. But from our interactions to date, I'm well aware of this, a girl never tells a lie. Which would mean these are unquestionably her true feelings. Do you feel the same way when someone else compliments you? この学園に転校してきた当初は、天音さんやみちるさまから褒められることもあったのですが、最近はそういう機会も減ってきているので。Well, I guess I can understand that. I mean, after a while, your actions do tend to inspire concern more than gratitude. そうでしょうか。いや。その境目が難しいです。with those words, Sachi closes her eyes and sinks into thought. Well, the request itself isn't unreasonable, and it wouldn't be particularly unpleasant for me, but... Do we praise her, or do we ask for an alternative penalty? We're gonna praise Sachi. It's what she wants, right? We're gonna praise her. It's the music change. Alright, fine. I don't have any problem with praising you, if that's what you want. Yeah. Defeating me in a match is worthy of recognition, and it's only natural to praise someone when they deserve it. I think someone might have told me the exact same thing a long time ago. What's wrong? Did I say something strange? Sachi responds to my question with unusual haste, then bows deeply for a moment as if to collect herself. So, as for the details, what kind of praising are you looking for specifically? That's quite the vague request. That said, it wouldn't be fair to break my promise after the fact, even in something as inconsequential as this. I draw close to Sachi and reach out my hand toward her head. I'm praising you, we're not making love. What? Of course, in Sachi's mind, it might be the exact same thing to her. Normally, Sachi can strip off her clothes in public without a hint of embarrassment, but at the moment, a rare pink blush has spread across her face. Just for future reference, that sort of line should only be used when you're getting in bed with someone. I gently shoot down Sachi's feeble entreaty and place my hand on top of her head. Aww. Okay. You beat me fair and square. Pretty amazing work, Sachi. This has to be the first time I've touched Sachi's head. And yet, the feeling of her hair under my hand is oddly pleasant. There's even something vaguely nostalgic about the sensation. 
Very nicely done. Sachi went stiff as a board at first, but soon closes her eyes in apparent pleasure. As her body relaxes underneath my hand, I begin to slowly pet her head. Right, left, right. Every time my hand moves, little bits of gibberish dribble from Sachi's mouth. Kind of amusing to watch, really. Look at her hands. Don't they look funny looking? I'm not really doing it that forcibly. Sachi sways back and forth helplessly in time with the gentle movements of my hand. This is another first for us, but for some reason the motion comes naturally to me. Right. Snapping out of it at the sound of Sachi's voice, I quickly draw back my hand. I think I ended up going at her head for a relatively long period of time without even realizing it. For some reason, she's currently staring intensely at my hand. Why? So how was it? Did the pit of your stomach get warm again? <laughs> In typical Sachi style, the girl asked this question with a perfectly straight face. If so, I'd have to see about selling off the technology to some manufacturer of home appliances. Sounds like exactly the sort of feature that Gold Housewives of the World would love to have in their toasters. You have that kind of scratch lying around? Not surprising. Well, anyway, I guess this should do it for my penalty. Sachi offers me an enthusiastic thumbs up. Hmm, I suppose. I wasn't really planning to cut off your compliments in the first place. I mean, if you act in a way worthy of recognition again, I guess I'll probably praise you again. I thought my response kind of brusque, if anything. But Sashi blames blushes the same shade of pink before and offers me a bow of thanks. That said, if we happen to do again, I fully intend to win. That's your prerogative, but don't forget to attend class, alright? Think about Sashi is, you know this isn't a joke. She genuinely did forget. In any case, I've learned something from the time I spent with this honest girl today. The act of praising someone, the sensation of petting their head. I've been making a habit of wrestling mocking his hair around lately, but somehow this feels different. Exactly what that feeling was remains unclear to me, but whatever it is, for some reason, I enjoyed it. Honestly. I guess mocking his games aren't all bad. Somehow those had become my honest thoughts on the matter.